awakening is running health recoveries 100% cure for depression insomnia asthma fatigue chronic pain insecurity panic attacks and other major disorders awaken the kundalini shakti the dormant energy within what would you do if you had 1300% more energy disease free mind and body is your first wealth claim it at inner awakening inner awakening a 21 day meditation retreat with rare living incarnation paramahamsa nityananda nityananda dhyana pita nityananda nagar biridi bengaluru karnataka contact 0802 727 Double nine, double nine. Email ia at nityananda dot org. Nityananda Shwara Samarambam. Nityananda Shwari Madhyamam. Asmadacharya Parayantam. Vande Guru Paramparam. I welcome all of you with my love and blessings. Today, Mahadeva is gracing us a beautiful Leela of Indranuk Sabandir Tarulal. Means the removing the curse of Indra. After accepting the worship of Indra is the Leela. Indra once got the sin, curse of killing a Brahmana. This Indra has no uh, brain. This fellow will go around and do all nuisance and come back. These fools will go around and do all nuisance and Mahadeva has to bear with that and uh, clear all that nuisance they create. And Indra could not get out of this Brahmadya dosha. He was roaming around all over the planet Earth. Suddenly when he entered the Kadambavana, the Madurai, he could experience the dosha, the curse has lost its power he started recovering. Then he finds a Shivalinga in that area. The Swayambu starts worshipping that Shivalinga. Immediately after the worship, Sundareshwara appears and removes the curse of Indra, Indra becomes complete and his curse is cleared. Then Indra leaves his Indra Vimana, the flight, as a protection for that Shivalinga. That is why still Madurai Sundareshwara, the Garbha Mandir of the Sundareshwara is Indra Vimana. It is held by six elephants, sorry, eight elephants and it's exactly in the form of the Indra Vimana. So today Mahadeva is gracing us, removing all our incompletions and all our curses. And Ganesha, part of the fifth day of Brahmotsavam, is gracing us on the peacock Vahana. Mayura Vahana. I'll enter into Nitya Satsang. Today I'll expand on Enriching, the signs of enriching. Please understand. As you all may be aware, we are in the Apyayana Rutu. The 
ability you are able to enrich other only is the free space available to you for your victory please listen your inner space is divided into two parts one part is filled with all your patterns and internal struggles your childish struggles whether i should wash my body with right hand or left hand i have not said but all you understand all of you understand <laughs> many time many things can be <laughs> made to understand without uttering a word listen one part of you is occupied by all your incompletions patterns with useless struggles listen the other part is available as a complete space free space free energy for you to handle your life spontaneously continuously whenever you handle you look at the life from that free space you find more and more solution when you look at the life from that patterned space you find more and more complication that is why whatever may be others problem huge like mountain you will give a solution just like that because you are looking at that problem from the free inner space not from the patterned space listen one part of you your inner space is divided as two but not equally not equally for some people the patterned space is 2% for some people patterned space is 98% i know everyone thinks my patterned space must be 99% 9.9% how many of you think so all of you have a self doubt pattern or can it <laughs> nobody's patterns the patterned space can be 99.99 because if that is the way you will have the wheezing and die you can't even breathe you will just have a wheezing and die so the moment you know you are not having wheezing and you are not dead already your inner space is not 99.99% patterned patterned so no don't worry listen your inner space is divided as two one the space pattern full of patterns the other space freely available for you to move around go around in the life see the things spontaneously and make decisions the gurukul is nothing but my effort to create the beings with 100% free, free space with no patterns understand there is one more important thing you need to know there is part of you which has no patterns free space but pushed into the territory of the patterns due to the self doubt you carry it is like you own 25 acre your enemy owns 25 acre but in your 25 acre because you have not built your building you are not going around and claiming your ownership your enemy has swallowed 20 more acre then how many acre you are owning only 5 that 20 more acre which he is owning because you don't own is self doubt part 
Understand? Because you have not exerted power over it. You have not asserted. The self-doubt declares that part as dispute land, dispute property, disputed zone. I tell you, whoever reclaims that self-doubt zone to their side, they win the war. They win the war. How to reclaim that self-doubt zone into your side? The area which you already have in your control, use it powerfully. Use it powerfully. I have a story. A local charity organization realized that the, their organization had never received a single donation, single penny from the town's most successful lawyer come politician. The charity organization representative, the person in charge of contributions called that liar come politician to persuade him to contribute. This guy goes to the, his house and the guy asks, Sir, our research shows that out of a yearly income of at least one million dollar, you have not given a penny to charity. Would not you like to give back to com the community in some way? The lawyer mulled over this for a moment and replied, Tell me, he is talking to that guy back, Tell me, your research showed I have one million dollar income. Did your research show my mother is dying after a long illness and as a medical bills that are several times more than her annual income, the United Way guy, that sorry, the charitable organization guy, it's actually an experience of a United Way representative, the charitable organization guy, he was really embarrassed. And he started mumbling, mm, no. The lawyer interrupts, did your research show that my brother, a disabled veteran, is blind and confined to a wheelchair? The charity organization representative is shocked, he was really shaken. He is about to stammer an apology. Again the lawyer says, do you know, did your research show my sister's husband died in a traffic accident, leaving her penniless with three children? By now the charity organization guy who came, he said in a very apologetic tone, sorry sir, I did not know all this. Immediately the liar stood up and cut him off once again. So, if I don't give any money to any of them, why should I give it to you? <laughs> Understand? person infected with self-doubt will neither be useful to himself nor to others. So I tell you, completing with self-doubt 
should be the top priority and completing with a self doubt please listen the spiritual practice for completing with the self doubt is enriching others <laughs> spiritual practice for completing with the self doubt is enriching others start enriching others you will see the self doubt gets destroyed self doubt can never be destroyed by anything else anybody else any other practice the only practice which can destroy self doubt is enriching others please understand the only practice which can destroy self doubting pattern is enriching others you cannot complete with your self doubt you need to understand how much ever completion you try to do you will suspect you will have doubt even about that completion how will you clear ramakrishna says beautifully if somebody is possessed by ghost you can throw sesame seed on him and throw the ghost away but if the ghost enters inside the sesame seed how will you drive the ghost using the sesame seed he is sitting inside the sesame seed so if you have any incompletion you can do the completion process and complete it get rid of it get rid of the incompletion but self doubt is such the doubting the very completion process itself so the incompletion has entered into your completion then how that completion is going to remove the incompletion i tell you the one and only way to get rid of the self doubt is enrich enrich others enriching is not marketing enriching is not converting because converting others the result is external marketing is the result is external for the sake of the results outside you do marketing or converting but here with enriching the results are inside whether the one person attends one person you enrich for inner awakening or two person you enrich for inner awakening or three persons you enrich for inner awakening is not the thing the number the intensity you carry and enrich others understand if you can enrich your spouse for inner awakening it is equivalent to 108 people being enriched for inner awakening because the amount of effort you need to put the amount of effort you need to put <laughs> i don't know why moksha preen is laughing he is giving a primal scream from <laughs> enriching is not old wine in the new bottle the old pattern of marketing or converting with the new title no i tell you if you think it's a old wine in the new bottle you are wrong it's a new ganga jal with the old bottle <laughs> maybe the outside bottle may look different but inside it is ganga jal the water of the ganges enriching is actually aiming at the space you live whether you are able to enrich the other person or not it's only a 
verification of the power of the space you carry, the strength of the space you carry. But the actual enriching itself happens in your inner space. It is not related to something external. Its results may be in the external. See, the external results are only a scale to verify whether you really carry the space of enriching or you are continuously cheating yourself. Just for that, only the outside external results are used. External results are used more like a scale. But, but, The result of enriching is clearing the self-doubt in you. I tell you from my own experience. I would have realized my avataric mission. I would have become enlightened more quickly, much more early if I would have listened to my both mentors, how much it took for both of them to convince me and start sharing this energy with others. I tell you, in the young age, I used to do a lot of these miracles. Whenever I was initiated by my mentors, teachers, into a new spiritual power, I'll go around and do left and right like a magic circus. I'll do all sorts of things using these miracle powers. Still, many people associated with my young age are there in Thiruvannamala. If you see them and ask them, they will tell you tons and tons of stories of me demonstrating extraordinary powers. But everything was not from the context of enriching. It was in the context of just playfulness. Playfulness. Or, I got something new, trying to test it out of curiosity. They used to tell me again and again, share this knowledge, share this science. Now you have a clear understanding. Do this for Enriching people, I never listened. Either I will use those powers for to test it, whether it really exists or not, out of curiosity. It took a lot of time for me to understand the concept of enriching. I tell you, from my experience, when you start enriching others, all the auspicious quality starts happening in you including the knowledge, understanding, everything. Enriching. Enriching is the spiritual practice to conquer the self-doubting pattern. And self-doubting pattern is the most powerful demon sitting inside you. I tell you, self-doubting is Maya. Self-doubting is Mara. Self-doubting is devil. Self-doubting is demon. Self-doubting is Ravana. Self-doubting is Hiranyaksha. Self-doubting is Hiranyakashivu. Self-doubting is Kumbhakarana. Enriching is the only and best way. Enriching is the only and best way to clear the self-doubting patterns, to clear self-doubts. Jab aap swayam ke pradisandhe karne lagte hai, 
स्वयं संदेह का पैटर्न जब आप में उपस्थित होता है तब आप स्वयं के लिए और दूसरों के लिए निरुपयोगी बन जाते हैं और आपका जीवन व्यर्थ व्यर्थ हो जाता है इसलिए सबसे पहले आपको अपने स्वयं संदेह से पूर्णत्व स्थिति लाना होता होगा आप अपने स्वयं संदेह से तभी पूर्णत्व ला सकते हैं जब आप दूसरों को लाभान्वित करके उनके जीवन में समृद्धि लाते हैं केवल दूसरों को लाभान्वित करने से ही आप स्वयं के प्रति संदेह को पूर्ण कर पाएंगे दूसरों को लाभान्वित करना मार्केटिंग नहीं है जब आप दूसरों को लाभान्वित करते हैं तब उसका परिणाम आपके भीतर उपस्थित अंतराकाश को परिवर्तित करता है और आपको पूर्णत्व और सृजनात्मक स्थिति में स्थापित करता है लाभान्वित करना आपके भीतर की अंतर आकाश को परिवर्तित करने की प्रतिक्रिया है इस प्रतिक्रिया है के परिणाम आपके बाहर प्रतिबिंबित होते हैं किंतु सही मायने में लाभान्वित करने के तत्व केवल आपके अंतर की स्थिति को विस्तारित करके उसे निरंतर पूर्णत्व स्थिति में स्थापित करने के लिए उपयोगी है जब आप दूसरों को लाभान्वित करते हैं तब आप में सभी मंगलमय गुण उत्पन्न उत्पन्न और व्यक्त होते हैं I wanted the whole sangha, all my disciples, all my followers, to learn this one lesson today. Please understand. Start enriching. Only then you will come out of self-doubt. You will complete with self-doubt only by enriching. In the whole sangha, the most fortunate ashramites, sannyasis, in my whole sangha are the people who are in the enriching temple. their whole day activity becomes the spiritual practice if they do it that's a punch line i tell you enrich 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 beautiful possibility to get out of your self doubt is presented in front of you walk this path and save yourself and achieve completion and enlightenment <laughs> live health bliss and enlightenment namah shivaya let you all achieve experience live express radiate share and explore in eternal bliss nityananda nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar of mysore road bidadi bengaluru phone 08027279999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifeblissfoundation